Our journey at Rolling Hills began back in the spring, uh, around March. We had been attending a church. Um, it was always our desire to raise our kids in the knowledge of faith and the church we were going to didn't really have much for kids ministry um, and we weren't really connecting with people so we were potentially looking at going to another church and we had on, on our way to get our groceries every week we drive by officer collins who always looks happy and he's always dancing and in our family we called it the dancing man so <laughs> Uh, we said, well, let's try the church with the dancing man. And our kids were like, okay. And um, after our first Sunday, it was a great experience. We met some good people. Uh, the worship was great. Kids ministry was great. And uh, the next day I picked my daughter up from school and said, what'd you do today, honey? And she said, I told all my friends about Jesus. The first Sunday, I was very moved with the worship. It just... They said, lay it all out there, you know, during worship, um, Jennifer was talking and it just, I got very emotional and I knew immediately, like, this is where I want to be. We didn't even try another church. We were sold. So we didn't have to look around. We knew Rolling Hills was our home. We immediately signed up for the partnership class. And then I got super sick um, with COVID and was hospitalized um, for about a week and that I have never felt so much love in my life from a church or a group of any sort. And, you know, I've attended church my entire life. And I, this was like a family. Like I, they were texting me and saying we are together as a group. And it was people I'd only met once or people I had never met that were reaching out. Um, they signed us up for a meal train and there were people at our door every day bringing us food, like once I got home. and. It was just amazing. Like I have never felt that blanket of love. I mean, in all regards, really. I mean, our kids are in a place. I mean, I'm, I'm thankful my kids are in a place where they are learning about the story of Jesus every single week. And I think even in our marriage too, like it, you know, yes. the sermons, like, you know, when we get time to talk to each other, it um, raises discussions of, you know, just ways we can serve each other better and be kinder to each other and try not to have arguments during the day. I mean, things yes. that every married couple goes through. So it's, I mean, it's really kind of invaded just every aspect of our lives. And I'm just thankful we're in a place where we're all being fed, 